Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, as many of you know, there's been a massive update to Planes of Eidolons recently. So I just thought I'd run through some of the changes that have been going on and what's changed with regards to each role in hunting. Uh, the builds, how they've changed, spawning spots, all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to go fully in depth on everything and I've just got one clip to show from Chroma's POV um, and in that you'll see obviously most of the stuff that's going on. Harrow hasn't changed at all. Chroma's only changed a bit um, and Vault's changed. His pre-shields have changed um, but that's it for Vault and also Trinity's changed a bit I guess since the layout of the planes has changed slightly. Lures are in the same position though, there's just a lot more trees in the way, so you'll get used to that after a while. Um, but yeah, so I'll just run through the build I have here. So recently the Rubico got a nerf, its driven disposition dropped a bit again. Um, so if we just look at that real quick, this is the build that I'm running now on Rubico. Um, Similar to my last one, except from I have swapped out uh, Hellfire for Vigilante Armaments now. Um, so basically I've got a triple stat ribbon, crit chance, heat and multi shot, so I'm getting the heat to make radiation here. Um, and then the multi shot additive allows for basically guaranteed four shots, or three shots actually, um, with half a chance of four. And then, as you can see, we've actually stacked this up quite a lot here. Up to 25% chance to enhance crits from primary. And that's coming from our Sentinel weapon, which we've put our primary mods on here. We've got another Vig Armaments, Vig Supplies, Vig Offensive, and Vig Fervor. And that stacked it all the way up to 5 there. Um, what you can do on your Chroma, if you want, you can put on the last Vig mods to make it 30%, but I haven't found the need for that at all, so... If you have, if you've put an Umbral Former on your Chroma as well that you got from the, um, the event, then obviously you have a bit more room than I do here, so you can always do that. Um, Chroma builds stay the same though for me. Arcane Acceleration and Momentum, those two have stayed the same. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think build-wise it's basically the same. Uh, I've also got an updated Harrow build now. I'll just get that up if you want to see. So this is my Harrow build now. Um, this is, a, in my opinion, a perfect build. Does pretty much everything you need to. You can swap Coaction Drift out for Speed Drift if you're the person who is going to be negative Coaction Drift in your run. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is the new, my new build for Harrow. 93% duration, pretty much perfect. Um, so yeah, you can have a look at that and copy if you want. Uh, but other than that, I think... We'll just get into the clip. What I'm going to do is just break it down. I'll try and go through each spawn point. Um, new spawn point for Gantalist and Hydralist. Um, you'll be able to see where the vaults placed his shields in those clips as well. In those clips as well. Um, I can do another video going in depth on that later on if you want. Do another vault guide. Um, but I don't think I need to. So we'll just keep it like this. Uh, other things that have changed a bit. As Chromie, you no longer have to be in the air to spawn wisps, so that's very handy. You can just dash to the shoreline and sp uh, spawn wisps now. And obviously we have the new ground slam on our void blast, which we can spawn two wisps with, so that's useful. Um, ground dashing to proc virtuous uh, shadow no longer works. So you can only proc virtuous shadow... Uh, on the head now by void dashing into the head, which is a slight annoyance, but it, it's fine either way. Um, other things that have changed, if there are no, I guess, um, far spawn is now really slow. Uh, it takes a while for the Eidolon to emerge, but you just have to be patient until you shoot the limb. Uh, and walking, I know I recently did a Chroma walking guy, which is now basically obsolete. Um, I'm probably going to do another one of those in the future, but basically you don't really need to walk him anymore. <laughs> Most of the spots now are 
bug proof you can find a way to just shoot him into a spot where he won't bug out so that's fine they've also fixed a lot of bug tps so he doesn't tp away as much now um yeah vonvalis spawns have changed slightly as well which we'll go into a bit in the clip but yeah other than that you'll you, we'll just go into the clip and then you'll see what's what's changed so what we'll do is i'll start by showing some fast charge clips um, and then I'll go into the the spawning positions and yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, we'll just get into the clip now. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with fast charge. So the first clip's going to be a fast charge that's not going to be at the camp on the right. We're going to come back to in front of the gate to get the Vonvalists here. Uh, as you can see, we wait a bit to find them, but they don't spawn. So we're just going to grab the lure. And then we're going to come back. Our teammates have marked them. We're going to pop them all and drag our lure through it like before. And head over to spawn wisps. Get our Vex armor up. And there we go. And now we're going to go for the non well sorry the camp fast charge where the vonvod is spawn at the camp on the right we're gonna go here wait it can take a while sometimes we see them spawn there on the left so we're just gonna kill them and then drag the lure through and head over like before get our wisps down Proc our Vex armor. And easy as pie. So now we're going to go on to the new spawn locations and we're going to start with far spawn. So here we are waiting to put our shards in. Like I said, far spawn takes a while now. You can pause the video if you want to see where the vault shield is as well. I'm not going to go into depth on the vault pre shields, like I said. I might do that in another video at some point. And there we go. You just have to jump over to the left to get the best angle. What you should really do here is hit him twice on the left-hand side to push him further up the hill on this spawn now. Uh, if you hit him on the right limb again, as you'll see me do here, he's going to go over the water. It just makes it a bit trickier. So hit him hit him on the left twice and he'll go a bit further away. But now we're going to go to mid-spawn. Uh, we're going to rattle through these clips quite quite quickly, so just to go through the changes. Mid spawns moved a bit close to us now. And there we go, as you can see, we're procking the wisps on the ground now. And we're going to hit him on the left. Yep. That's where mid spawn is. Again, you can pause if you wanted to see where the vault shield was. You can do that for all of these, but now we're going to go to close left. So close left has actually moved a bit further away from us now. Um, unlike close right, which has moved closer to us. Which have a bit of problem with shards here, apparently. So here's close left. Again, pause if you want to see the vault shield. And we're going to hit him on the right. One other thing that we've noticed as well is that First shields seem to be a lot faster now. We think they've changed how the damage calculation works on amp shots, so that's nice. But yeah, close left, move a bit further away, not too much of an issue though. And finally, we're going to do close right, which we're going to finish on. Close right is basically exactly the same. Slightly closer, but not by too much. And there we go. We're going to go down and pop there and hit on the right. So that's basically it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do, or I will try and get another Chroma walking guide in. Um, you can walk the, the Eidolon very easily now on most spawns, so that's very nice. Uh, and I might do another video for Vault. Um, just an update on the last one about pre-shields. But other than that, I think that's all there is to say, really. Uh, if you have any questions about the update or any changes you've noticed, let me know. I'll try and get back to you on that, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.